for this lesson, I have prepared my base. I put all these sticky tabs on it to show where some important harmonics are that I use all the time to determine where I should put my finger to play a note in tune. So a very basic physics lesson for you, like high school level physics. When you have a string that vibrates like that, at either end, you have the things that are stopping it from vibrating further. So on the bass, we have the nut up here and the bridge down here. Now in between, we have a vibrating string length. If we were to cut that string length in half, physics tells us that we will now have a pitch that is an octave higher. And so I've put this marker right here, this light blue marker right here to show where that harmonic is. And that's true for any string. So my open E string turns into an octave higher E, octave higher A, octave higher D, octave higher G. Now that is probably the most familiar harmonic that everyone uses all the time. That octave harmonic, especially on the G string, is, is probably a comfortable position for many intermediate to advanced bass players. You're used to just finding that octave and putting your thumb position from there. 